Congratulations. How good did that milk taste, my friend? I just asking Chip how good it felt to win Daytona and Indianapolis in the same year. He's uh, he's hugging all the trophies here. <laughs> I was just thinking this tastes just as good second time. That was. Oh, up until 10 laps to go, it was pretty relaxed, and then all hell broke loose with fuel saving and stuff. And um, the number 10 target car was the dominant car today. This, but I thank all these guys and this team, and uh, thank you the fans for coming out to the speedway today. And uh, it feels great. Now your voice. The tempo of your voice was really ramped up over the last uh, 10 seconds in your radio communication. How frightened were you that you weren't going to have enough fuel to make it to the end? I just needed to know what the other guys were doing. I was thinking, well, if, if, if they're saving more than me, they're doing something very special here. I just needed to know the gap behind, and there was a bit of confusion, and I wasn't getting that gap, and I still had to kind of tell them what I needed. So, ah, uh, man, <laughs> this means so much. This is just, you know, to come back after going away for a couple of, for a year, win the championship and I win the Indy 500. Thank you, thank you to everybody at Team Target and uh, I'm, I'm down there speechless right now. <laughs> Dario Franchitti, he has won the Indianapolis 500 for the second time. And the wreath around his neck, you remember when that uh, started? It was 50 years ago with Jim Rathman when he won in 1960. There are 33 ochres and 33 miniature checkered flags. And here it was just a few moments ago as Dario Franchitti finishes winning his second Indianapolis 500 here and the crew just celebrating and saying we did it we dominated and we did it and wife Ashley sprinting to give her husband a victory kiss